welcome agents. Today I'm back with another news video which includes a peek at the Tidal Basin Stronghold, a side mission which hints at the possibility of us returning to Manhattan in January and more. As always, if you enjoy this video, please hit the like button below and subscribe for dedicated division content. With that said, let's get to it. Okay, to start off with, take a look at this side mission I went through. Now this isn't new news, okay, this is fairly old news, about a week old, but hardly anyone has been speaking about this, certainly not on YouTube anyway. It's very clear that there are some posters uh, that state New York City after dark, a return to the Big Apple, and at the bottom it says January on these posters. Now this isn't the only place this can be found, here's an image of this in the open world as well. So what does it all mean? Well, I'm not really sure, but as you can imagine, there is quite a lot of speculation, some of that... I'm all too familiar with if you've been watching me for some time. Now firstly, there is no way this is not deliberate. This was intentional and I think it's there to suggest that at some point, likely January, based on the posters, we will be going back to New York for whatever reason. Now the poster itself shows an image uh, like a grid view of somewhere in New York City, but where? One Redditor commented saying this looks like Greenwich, East Village, Soho, Little Italy, Lower East Side, Tribeca, Chinatown, and the Financial District, aka everything in Manhattan south of the division. Now, I've had a look on Google Maps and tried to compare it with the very vague grid view, and I think this could be absolutely right. It's the only place I can see in Manhattan that would match the grid view even remotely, so I'm going to say that this is where we're going to go back to. Now, with that in mind, what could After Dark mean? Survival, maybe? Now, we know Survival is coming back to the Division 2, and we know it won't be part of the first two episodes, but the third episode for the year has not been announced yet, and we really only have the art on screen to go by, which really does nothing. 
Now, I appreciate going a little bit off course here, going into sort of my speculation stuff, but I really think this is our biggest clue yet of our return to Manhattan. Now, personally, I would love to go back to Manhattan, and in January time, average temperatures uh, in Manhattan are in the minus degrees at night, so it would still have that Division 1 feel to it. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to go back, and if you'd like Survival to be based there, or using the Washington DC assets. I personally would like to have survival in both Washington DC and us going back to Manhattan. I think that would be great. Okay, moving on, and tomorrow we will likely find out when World Tier 5 and the Tidal Basin Stronghold will be available to compete against. But if, like me, you want a snippet of what's to come, well, I haven't really got that. But what I do have are some screenshots shared on Reddit from someone who glitched into the Stronghold. And before I get into this, I'd highly recommend you don't glitch into the Stronghold. Just you just never know. It's, it's, you don't want to get your account banned for whatever reason. Now, to be honest, these images don't show a whole lot, but I thought it'd be worth sharing the screenshots, so here they are. The most interesting is definitely the giant hovercraft, which you can kind of see just by standing outside the stronghold anyway. Now, what the images do show is just how huge this hovercraft is. I think it's going to be an awesome setting for the Black Tusk stronghold. There isn't a lot more to say here. You've seen the images. Let's move on. Moving on, and how many of you have seen this? Safety off. Make sure the medical items get into the clinic. And the food goes to the storage by the mess halls. Put those crates back on the truck. Wait. What? We're not wasting any more supplies on these people. Put them back, Private. Sir. What the hell are you doing, Colonel? They are already dead, Doctor. Are you insane? They need care. What about the staff? Collateral damage. Now, take your hand off my soldier. If you go ahead with this, I will report your con- What the f Bar the gate, Sergeant. Looks like you got a riot brewing. Lock and load! Put it down. Or oh, what about this? I suspect not a lot of you. Why? Because this is located under collectibles here and completely hidden from you unless you go searching for it. Now I did a review on The Division 2 not long ago. My main issue was the story. It just didn't feel like it captured me. But if they had included clips like this, then I would have absolutely took more notice. Why wasn't this in the main campaign? Now there are eight different recordings in this tab you can watch and they're amazing so I'd highly recommend you go and watch them if you haven't already. And I think having these to find are great, but I also think they should have included a lot more of these in the campaign, maybe at the start of some very important missions to really sort of set the scene. I know I personally would have loved something like this at the start of a scene to kind of put you in that moment, but they didn't really do that. And you have to find them yourselves. Absolutely worth it though, guys. Please check them out. Last but not least, I'm a little bit late on this one, but for anyone who didn't know, the 7th Ivory Key location has been solved by some very intelligent people. Now, how do you do it? Please note, this is not perfect. There are actually a few ways to do it, but this is how it's been presented on Reddit and how most people are kind of getting the hunter to spawn. First off, you need to go to this location. Once there, you will need to find this truck and jump on top facing the big building. You will then need to shoot the windows in this order, making sure to fire only one bullet. If you miss, you will need to relog. And once you've done this, a hunter will spawn on your right, and that's the 7th Ivory Key. Now, if you wish to get involved in the solving of the last key location, I recommend you head on over to the official Division Reddit page, where you can contribute your ideas. There you go, agents. I hope you did enjoy today's video. Now, I will be covering tomorrow's state of the game with a bite-sized video, so you guys get everything 
in as little as time as possible without all the, the mumbo-jumbo. With that said, thanks for all of your support, and until the next one, epic out.